Vic. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that we'd end up standing here today. I knew it when you showed up at my work with coffee and donuts the day after our first date. I knew it when you told me that you loved me after only four days. <laughs> I knew it when we took our first weekend away together. And I knew it all over again when you got down on one knee and asked me to spend the rest of my life with you. Dear Amy, you have opened my life up to so many new experiences and adventures over the last couple of years. We've been to Mexico, the Dominican Republic, West Virginia, New Orleans, Atlantic City, and of course, Lake George, and that's just to name a few. Soon we will be going to Ibiza in Italy for our honeymoon. I want you to know that becoming your wife today is the greatest title I could imagine. I consider myself infinitely lucky to soon call you my husband. I love who you are, I trust who you'll become, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life making memories with you. Since then, Amy and I have been going through all the good and the bad in our lives that it has had to offer. She is now the goddaughter to one of my daughters, and despite the difference between us, she currently remains close to us. My oldest, Harper, tends to FaceTime her Aunt Amy regularly without my knowledge, and suddenly I can hear Amy's voice throughout my house. Knowing me, I would not have gotten out of my comfort zone enough to visit half of these places. Amy has a way of reaching into people and getting them out of their mundane nine to five schedules. And that's true. Amy, you have a gift. You're able to dig deep into people and expose their weaknesses. And in a way, you've been able to strengthen my weaknesses and insecurities. Every time I see you, I'm caught up in the feeling I get tunnel vision. Today, as I stand before you and all of our family and friends, I promise to never stop pursuing you wholeheartedly, joyfully, and sacrificially. I promise to be your stability when life gets rocky and always put us first. I never knew the feeling until you. I love you with all my heart. I promise to love you when you feel unlovable. To be honest and faithful at times of confusion. To support you when you feel like the whole world is against you. To trust in you even when clouds of doubt loom over. to always fight for us and honor you as my husband, my partner, and my best friend. Amy, marriage for, is for life, and we are just now getting started in our adventure. I will stick by your side through good times and bad, in sickness and in health, and one day, when death comes for my left hand, I promise to be holding you with my right. I'm so excited to be your husband, and I can't wait to see where this adventure will take us. I love you. <laughs> I promise that no matter what this life throws at us, it will always be me and you. Because at the end of the day, if everything else that I've ever wanted in this life never comes to fruition, but I'm holding your hand as we head towards the finish line, then I'll be happy. It is my privilege and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Nikki may kiss your bride. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I wish for you on our wedding day. On your, your <laughs> wedding day. <laughs> Yes, um, and that your lives together be filled with love and happiness, that in the difficult times you can lean on each other, and in the great times you are each other's biggest supporters. And you always remember people who are always ready to support you on both sides will always be there for you. Amy, you're not just gaining a husband today, you're gaining a best friend, a partner in crime, and someday the father to your six children. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, Nick and Amy, may your marriage be filled with as much love, laughter, and joy as your wedding day. Here's to a lifetime of happiness, adventure, love, and friendship. Cheers to the new ones. Be patient with each other, and consistent kindness is the rule of thumb. Communication is the key. Listen actively. Express your feelings honestly. Amy does not have a problem with that one. <laughs> and strive for the true understanding of each other's thoughts.